Hi, my name is Richard Walters. In this demonstration, we're going to look at extra features within Microsoft Project covering areas like hyperlinking, text boxes, and templates within Microsoft Project. These areas will now be covered in this demonstration. In this demonstration, we're going to look at some of the extra features within Microsoft Project. The first extra feature I'm going to look at is Project Options, which can be very, very useful. So I'm going to go to the File tab, Options, and there's different ones we could look at. One of the ones might be Display. If you wanted to change the currency from pounds in this example, we could change the currency using the little drop down and then you'll get the new symbol for whatever currency you choose. Now one of the big options in the schedule, and this would be where we've got new tasks created. The default is manually scheduled. Now this can be a difficult option to manage when you're trying to manage Microsoft Project. Most project users want to use what's called auto scheduling to let project manage the projects for you. So the default sometimes can be very, very unhelpful. Now we can tell us in manual scheduling by default, where it says new task created, but also look into the bottom left where we can see it saying manually scheduled. Now we might want to update this to auto scheduled. So I'm going to say instead of project one, I'll go to all new projects, set it to auto scheduled, click OK. Now project doesn't automatically update. For the new project, it'll have to wait until we close this one down and reopen project. So I'll close this one down when it's presently open. I'll relaunch project now, blank project. And we can see now it's auto scheduled. So when I start typing a new task now, this is now auto scheduled, which is what most project want, users want to manage Microsoft Project with. If you wanted to, whatever for whatever reason, change back to manual scheduling, that can still be done. It's just role reversal, file tab, options, schedule, and I'll just go to the all new projects, back to manual scheduled, click OK, close the present project down again. Not going to save it. And I go to new blank. And if I looked in the bottom, it's manually scheduled. If I type in task one now, it's back to the default, which is manual scheduling, which is not the best option many users find to control Microsoft Project. So project options, very well worth looking through. We're going to look at uh, hyperlinking in a file called training program. And I'm going to hyperlink to this project information folder, pretend it's information about the project. So training project. And to hyperlink, it's in the information column. I'm going to right click in line with the project summary task. I'm going to choose link. And I'm going to link now to the place where my folder is, which is in this example, desktop, project extras. And I want to link to this project information folder. I'm going to click OK. And to use the hyperlink, I can hover over it and then one left click. And that opens up the folder called project information. There's an Excel folder inside of it. And I might have extra Excel files I'd like to demonstrate. I'll just, just click on this one to open it up as a demonstration. And there's a little tracker file about conditional formatting. I'm going to close this one down for this example, but this shows you how, how hyperlinks could be used in this um, in this case, an Excel file, but it could be any files, it could be PDFs, it could be Word, Word meetings, it could be anything. So it could be all in the folder. In this case, just demonstrate an Excel file. Now we're going to look at how text boxes could be used with Microsoft Project effectively. So I'm going to put a text box against this ID2 and task one of the training of the program planning. And that's on the Gantt chart format tab, the drawings section of the ribbon, and there's a text box. I'm going to draw a text box and we're just going to call it test text box. I'm going to click on the text box and now format it and also set certain settings with it. And that's under properties. I'm going to change the line border to a different color. 
and I change the fill to a different color. And we can see the preview over here, what it looks like. Let me see what that looks like first. And there's a little example of a text box. Now, what we might want to do, we want that text box to stay with the taskbar if we were to move the taskbar so the text box doesn't just sit as it is now it moves with the task which you are uh, trying to put a note with uh, put a text box against so we can do this by right clicking the text box uh, choosing properties going to size and position and we can then choose to attach the task and the ID I want to assign to in this case is ID number two. So we'll go against two. And you can attach it to the front side of the task or the back end of the task. I'll leave the default. Click OK. And I'll just put it back with the task. And then I'll delay the task by a certain period of time so we can see the, the green text box move. And I'll delay it by a month. I'll go to the advanced, start no earlier than, and it's going to be a month from the 29th of January 2024. So if I go back to the 29th of January, we'll get a month. So that's one, two, three, four, that's the 26th of February. Go and click OK. And now we can see the blue bar move, the green text box go with it. And we can see a little note of the constraint to show this task has moved, but we can see the green text box has moved as well. So this is another useful extra text boxes, and you can assign them to tasks, and you can color them as you wish. I've got a file here called training template, which is the same file as you just saw, but I want this to be saved as a template for a training project that might want to manage every year. So here's the example. This one's back in 2023. I want this as a uh, template. So I'm going to go file, save as, browse, and go to project template. Now project template keeps me in the documents uh, area. Now I might want to have a folder with all my templates. So I'll put a new folder and I'll call it project templates. Now I'm going to save the trading template inside of it. Say so save that. Okay, now I'm going to test the template out. So I'm going to close this file down, but I'm going to leave project open. Okay, now I'm going to go and hunt the template and find out where it is. So I'm going to open the template. I'm going to have to browse. I'm going to go to the documents area. Here's my project templates. I can't see anything yet. That's because I've got to change the type in the bottom to project templates. Now I can see the training template and it's got a te template symbol next to it. So as I open up the template now, it'll give me a project based on the template. So I'm going to open it up. And there's one called project one. And now I could now be working in the following year. And I can say, okay, for this one, I need to set the project start date to a different date. I might say, okay, I'm going to change it to uh, I'm going to year forward to 2024. And I'll say this is the, uh, I'll go back to the 29th of uh, January. And we can see all the dates change accordingly. And if I wanted to change a link, for example, I might want to change a link between the first two tasks. I'll change this to start to start. And we can now see that the the new project file, project one, is based on the template, but it's now active for the new year you're in, and you're now managing the project off the template. So this is where templates can be very, very useful in Microsoft Project. But this completes the training video of project extras and some of the nice useful features within Microsoft Project. This now completes the demonstration on project extras. See you in the next video.